Welcome back to Brightside this morning. If you're looking to get your arts and crafts on, Jabari's got a spot for you. He's got you covered, right? Painting in the Trap. It offers guests an unforgettable experience by combining art and urban music. Right now, Jabari Thomas providing all the music, I'm sure, with uh, his singing. Ah, and, it's getting a nice sound there. You know what? You're not slick. You got that assignment because you wanted to eat on camera. I know what's up. Frank, you can't eat this. I'd be poisoned. Yeah. This is oil. You're making a candle, right? From, uh, I guess I do need my candle. eyes. Don't eat the candle. <laughs> <laughs> it, smells, it smells good, though. I tell you what, I would take a shot. But uh, good morning, beautiful people. We are here at the DIY room located in Tampa, where this is what I like to call it. It's like painting with a twist, but on steroids, if you will, because it's more than just painting on a canvas. You can paint on uh, wine glasses, you can make rugs, and check out this, you can make bags. We're gonna talk about the bags in just a minute, but we're here at the candle table where you can also make candles. Christopher, tell us a little bit about the process. Good morning, uh, about the process of making a candle. Um, so, good morning. Um, you, basically, you're creating your own candle, like he said. Um, you have to, of course, set the wick. So that's what I'm getting preparing to do, yeah. set the wick. Um, once you have it in, you have to have something to stabilize it so that your wick don't fall over, so that you can burn your candle. Wow. Um, once you have it set in the um, jar, then you add your fragrance. Um, right now we're just using like almost shot glasses. Like I said. And, <laughs> um, and you just take a dropper to fill the shot glass about quarter of the way full so that you can add it to the melting. Awesome, as simple as that, right? That's just that simple. <laughs> Let's go over here to CJ, the owner. Hey, by the way, take out your cell phones right now because if you want more information on the DIY room, uh, we're going to leave it up here on this uh, screen for you. Tell us a little bit about the bag making and a little bit about the overall of your business. So we just released these, the DIY bag. So the DIY room is a baby of painting in a trap. Painting in a trap is an international urban paint and sip experience. And so we know that not everyone wants to paint all the time, right? Or listen to trap music all the time. So we created the DIY room, which is, which is a room and a place for people to come to create not only paintings, but anything creative, such as these DIY tote bags, candle making, um, as you said, we had the, the wine glasses, the, the rug decorating. So we wanted to create a space that allow people to be creative in whatever way that they want to. So yes, the, the DIY room is here to stay and it is the next level of painting in the trap. And you don't even have to be a professional. No, 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 we, we, we have professionals here to help you. <laughs> but if you want to come here for a girl's night, date night, bring the kids because we have kids activities, this is the place to be. Awesome, thank you so much for having us this morning. Thank hey, check you. out these bags really quick before we yeah. leave out of here this morning. Come check them out, y'all, the DIY room. It is an awesome place to get your creative senses and creative juices flowing. And uh, I'm gonna send like it back it. to y'all in the like studio. It. What you think? I, what I'm I trying think to is this me. is awesome, Tabar. You know, you know what? Uh, DIY, you said you don't have to be a professional painter, but I'm guessing one of the requirements is you, you need to be able to see what you're talking about, right? Yeah, you got to see what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs>